Fuck me, that was fast. I'm putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven, seven, cutty. Ravens fam, so more Miles Boykin news. So he tweeted out, Miles Boykin has been claimed off of waivers. He's been claimed by the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I know some people are going to be like, what the heck? Hey, I ain't, you know what? I'm not even tripping off that. I'm really happy for the man because he never fully got a really, really like crazy chance with the Ravens. And I, you know, I made my little troll jokes and everything like that, but you look at the man's stats for his college, you look at his his combine performance, the dude that was tall, fat, he had everything that you would literally want in a wide receiver that has route running. That's a whole other subject. But there's a lot of people that don't do good in route running, but they correct that with other things. And it's like, the Ravens really never gave him that chance. To me, in my opinion, and they have a long history of that. That's one thing I cannot stand about my Ravens. They have a long history of that. And it's like, what the heck? But, look, Darren Waller comes to church. He goes somewhere else, you see what happens. They had this man on the practice squad. For us, I know he had all his downfalls. They stuck with him with that much respect, but come on, come on. But this ain't about that. Anyway, so he's playing with now Chase Claypool, his old college. I think he was like number two. Uh, Chase was Chase Claypool was number two, and Miles was number one when they was playing with each other, but they both ball. Now, when he plays against the Ravens, it's going to be interesting because the man balls. A lot of eyes going to, in my opinion, that's going to be looking at the front office, the coaching staff, the offense coordinator. You can you can call plays with this man. You, I remember last year, for those of you that came to my live stream, when the game was on, you can sometimes, I would say percentage wise, 85%. When you see 80 out there, oh, that's a run play. Because he was a great blocker. But that's like all he did really was use him just to block. I'm like, what the heck? Get his man a chance. He's messed up a couple of games. But shoot, you can go down the whole 53 man roster. A lot of players mess up. But it's like what my my family engraving said. If you're not a number one pick for his wide receiver, you don't really get that much. And that really sucks. We can talk about all these misses that EDC done had. And EDC, he's he's getting, in my opinion, he's still getting better and better each draft. But we can, we can go down the whole list of, of Ozzy. I got our best wide receiver Ozzy has drafted, in my opinion. Torrey Smith. Torrey Smith. And we didn't even keep him. But the man didn't get a lot of chances, and we know Pittsburgh. Wide receiver factory out there. So I'm hoping he get his chance. I'm hoping he just go out there and kill it. Except playing against the Ravens. Every time he plays against the Ravens, I hope he's, he flops. Maybe get a first down. I can give it to yours. But, nah, in real seriousness, though, man, it's just like, I, I, hope, I hope he does good out there, though. But that's just ridiculous. Ridiculous how the, how the Ravens organization just don't give these guys a chance. 
We all scream for Pro Shea. Best hands on the team. But out of the, I don't, did the man even drop one? I think he dropped one last year. I think, if I can remember, because I think that shocked me. But, they ain't really give him a chance. And I know for a fact, if he went to another team, he will, he will be a star. The man got Anquan Bowden tendencies. He, he's a dog. But, what they do, put them on the shelf. Dev, super fast. Kick returner, he needs more time. We got Tyler Wallace. Dude is good, dude is dog. I remember they would they play, he played like he's Steve Smith Sr. Still, he's still waiting. I'm like, we, we got all these guys. Rotation, man. Keep this rotation going. Have them out there on the field. Pick your poison. We see Lamar getting that communication down with him. But I hope the best for Miles Boy. The only thing is, I have no idea who's going to be throwing to him. But knowing Pittsburgh, they might end up trading up in the draft and getting the wire, uh, getting the, uh, quarterback Malik, but I wouldn't be shocked, so let's see what y'all think about it, I ain't hating on the dude, make your money